here now. I'm going to type a thing in here so you guys know. New stream is up. Wow. Hello. I'm so, I hate it when it does that, you guys. I get so frustrated when it does that. Ugh. I hate that so much. Like, why can't they just let me be great? Let me be great. Let me be great. Please let me be great. Okay. Wow, so annoying. Come on back, guys. Come on in here, guys. I'm so sorry about that, okay? And we're back. And I don't know. Trisha Paytas, girl, stop messing with my stream. Trisha Paytas, she's mad. She's at it again. Trisha Paytas and the ghost. Joining forces to ruin my life. Joining forces to ruin my life. Anyway, where were we? Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you so much. Panda, hello. Were you in the last one or are you just joining us? If you are if you are just joining us, well, we got crashed last time. The, the live stream crashed. Honestly, what else is new? <laughs> Megan, hello, welcome. Oh my god. Girl, I don't know what but it I did not know what was going on with that. It's been happening randomly. Like all during all of Mercury retrograde, it's been happening. Before Mercury retrograde, I didn't have a problem with it. It's Mercury retrograde. It's Mercury retrograde. I know it. I know it, Nicole. I know it. Oh my God, so frustrating. <laughs> Jesus. Well, thank you all for coming right back or joining this one. If you were just getting here, we have we're we're well into the look um but uh but we're having a good time haterade retrograde exactly haterade it literally is ruining my life ruining my life it's almost over it's gonna be over mid-october so we don't have that much left thankfully because it's ruining my life and i hate her I hate her. Oh, okay. So the other thing I had on my agenda, my live stream agenda to talk to you guys about today was, um, hi, Asma, how are you? Welcome. This is the second stream because we got crashed the first time because uh, Trisha Pace and the YouTube ghost are out to get me. Um, and hater, what is it? Haterade retrograde? Yeah. They're all out to get me. Um, but, um, I know. She has a, a list of topics to talk about, which I guess is like good, I don't know. Um, so the last thing I wanna talk about is like guys stuff. Okay, so I, I need to sip my Diet Coke for this. Trisha Boom Boom Paytas and her assistant, Moses Hackman. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Thanksgiving in Canada. Yeah. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving is good for the food, but canceled here in America. Because, you know, on account of the story behind American Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, but the food's good, though. Okay, um, so where were we? Okay, so guys, so I have been trying to date, okay, and let me say, I don't have like a problem getting a date, I mean like, look at me, but um, I have, I don't, I get annoyed, right? I get annoyed with dealing with the whole thing, with having to do all the texting and the keeping up and like the what's, like what's your favorite color? Like I don't care, okay? I, I, maybe that maybe that means I'm not ready. Say one thing I'm thankful for this year. I'm thankful for literally every single one of you and all um, 
all of my subscribers that I have. I'm thankful for, I'm, that is literally, I think the thing I'm most grateful for this year because I, I've grown so much this year on my channel and my dreams are coming true this year as far as that goes. And so I'm so thankful for that. Um, I feel like this is like looking a little botched. Okay. Um, so let's do like the bronzer and the blush and all that so we can really pull this thing together. I, I just don't, maybe that means I'm not ready to start dating or like I don't want to date if I like literally can't even stand talking to you about like anything, you know, um, but I really can't. Um, I really can't be bothered to like find out about like what you do for fun or like whatever. I don't know. Like, it, And then it's just like, it, I think here's what will happen is I'll be talking to somebody on like a dating app, like Facebook dating is like my new one that I'm using. Um... Oh, thank you, Panda. That's so sweet. Okay. Um, so Facebook dating has been the one that I've been using lately. Um, so the thing is, it's like, I'll match with somebody. And then like, it's just like, you say like, hi, how are you? How are you? We're good. Everyone's good. How was your day? My day was good. Your day was good. Okay, great. Awesome. Like, happy your day. Like, it's just like very much like small combo, like small talk. And I hate small talk. Okay. Um, and then it's like, so I am very much like, I hate small talk. So let's get right into it. Okay. So it's like, hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? So I want to know, like, what are you looking for? I just, I'm going to say it right there. What are you looking for? Tell me what it is that you're looking for, because if, if we do this whole conversation, and then I find out that you're looking for, you know, a, a side chick because your girlfriend's like not giving you what you need, or because you're in an unhappy marriage, or because like, or because, or that you're just looking for like a casual, like you know, one night stand, friends with benefits type thing. If I, we do all this talking and I find that out, I'm gonna be annoyed. Okay, so I just ask right off the bat. What are you looking for? <clears throat> so that's the one thing. And then some people are like, sometimes the conversation ends there because maybe they think that I'm just like get cutting to the chase too quick. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but I don't have time for all that extra stuff. So um, that's the one thing. So this one guy I was talking to, he, we were having, like, I guess, an okay conversation. Um, he was kind of like weird, weirding me out a little bit because he, um, Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, like, I ended up giving him my number, right? Because we were, like, having a decent conversation. And I was just, like, interested to hear more about him, right? So I gave him my number. And then we talked a little bit, um, a little bit, like, through texting. And then, like, Friday and Saturday hit and I didn't hear from him. So I was like, okay. And this guy was 39, by the way. Or his profile said he was 39. Um, so... Friday and Saturday, I didn't hear from him. <clears throat> well, listen, I don't have, I mean, like, whatever. I'm a busy person. I have a life. If we just talked very briefly on the, on the dating app, and then I gave you my number, if we don't keep the communication up, honey, I'm going to forget probably that we ever talked and for at least, you know, if we don't talk for two days, I'm probably going to forget we ever talked. And I'm probably going to, um, I'm definitely going to forget what you look like and every, our conversation if we don't, if there's two whole days without communication, okay? So this guy messaged me now today or yesterday um, and he's like, sorry, I didn't see that you had responded to my text. He left me on red for two days. And then he says, sorry, I didn't see that you responded. And then he like answered the question I asked him. And I was like, okay. Um, I was like, oh, I was like, so, oh, so you didn't see the big blue dot that comes up next to your name when you, when you, when someone texts you. And he was like, no, I guess I missed it. And I was like, oh, I guess you missed like the little number, the little red number next to the green icon too that shows when someone's texting you. And he was like, yeah, I guess I missed it. And so I said, I ended up deleting the, um, the text thread because I was like, I don't care. But I ended up telling him, I was like, hey, so listen, like, and, you ha and it sucks that I had to preface it with this. And I'm working on that, but... I feel like as a woman, you have to like preface and say like, I'm not trying to be a bitch or rude because I feel like whenever you're blunt and you say something, guys will always be like, oh, she's being bitchy or whatever. But I was like, I'm not trying to be bitchy or rude. Um, but, uh, and I said something about along the lines of like, 
you um, like it's okay they didn't answer my text like that's fine but if you don't respond to my text for two whole days with the lack of that's a lack of consistency and I've only been texting you for like two or three days to begin with and since we don't have like much to go off of if you don't text me back for like two days or three days or whatever like in that time like I'm busy like I'm gonna forget about you like straight up I'm gonna forget um and like like please don't try to act like you can oh bye Melanie have a good one um so you can't like please don't try to make me believe that you didn't see my text if you just didn't want to answer it because I wasn't the priority at the time then that's what it is you're you can't you you're not gonna tell me that you didn't see that I text messaged you you can't and I, I didn't say it like so like sassy as I'm saying it now I typed it out and it was like very like you know concisely put together right but you can't expect me to believe that you just didn't see the, that you didn't see the text it's 2021 you have your little computer in your pocket all the time and you know it's you see your notifications so i this is one of a couple things happened the first thing that happened was you um was you saw that i texted you you were busy at the time but you i didn't cross your mind after that for you to look at the text when you were not busy to answer me okay that's the first thing that happened the second thing that happened was this this has happened to me before where you have your phone open or something and someone texts you and it's like on the text it's like on the text page and so it shows that you read it but you really didn't because you were like i don't know in the kitchen cooking or doing whatever and so it shows you read it but you really didn't read it and then you close your phone you continue with your day but here's the thing about that that tells me that for two whole days i didn't cross your mind for you to check back and see if i had responded so that's the second thing the third thing was like um you saw it but didn't feel like i was enough of a um priority to respond to on your peak most people's like you know prime time days of the week which are friday and saturday so you didn't think that i you didn't give me a response during those times and if that's the case that it is what it is either way it is what it is and honestly i'm not pressed okay i'm not pressed i'm not bothered but don't lie to me and tell me that you didn't see the text let's just keep 100 and you, you, so the way that you respond to that is you just answer the question you don't sorry i didn't see this da, da, da. If that's a bunch of bullshit. you just if that's the case then keep it moving and just respond to the text and i wouldn't have even been impressed i would have been like okay just find the text two or three days later like whatever like whatever and then when i said that okay let me, let me see what the, what the comments are saying if he goes me, I will respect the dead and move on. So he's already a liar. My sister had dudes get butt hurt because she didn't make them a priority. They haven't even met yet. Red flag. Yeah. Um, do not apologize for expressing yourself in situations like this. Women are not bitchy simply for having observations and viewpoints and telling a guy, don't lie to me, especially about small crap. Yeah, what I do is say, hey, you have time to chat on Friday at 6 p.m. or an alternative time of your choosing. They plan to meet. If they are late, they don't respect commitments. No apology, no accountability. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very, very upfront and, up front and blunt. I think you guys can probably tell that about me just um, from being online or whatever. But I'm very, like, direct and very upfront and blunt about things, if you will. And the thing is, it's like, I was, I was like, okay. So then I, was, I told him all that. But, like, in a concise, like, like this way, it wasn't rude. It was just very matter of fact. He responds with, um, uh, I already said I'm sorry. Uh, you must be used to dealing with little boys. I didn't even have the energy to read your text, your whole text. And he said something about like, in the time I didn't respond to you, I made 67K. What else is irrelevant about this text? Question mark. And I was like, what? And so I said, what is like 67K have to do with anything? And you didn't have the energy to read what I said to you. 
so first of all, I'm like, okay, so, and so then he, and then he blocked me. So then I'm like, okay, so you can't handle anybody talking to you directly and like having a like direct conversation with you. Also 67K, like who the fuck? And literally when I was like, uh, am I supposed to be impressed by you making 67K in two days? I don't care about your money, dude. That's not why, like, that's not why I'm talking. We hadn't even talked about, um, like, what, like, finances, like, where we worked or anything like that. I, because like, I, you know, I mean, it matters. You have to have a job and shit, but, like, I'm not trying to be, I'm not, like, a gold digger. Yeah, he's 39. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it very much, like, so, like... So, so extra. And I was just like, okay, whatever. Okay, whatever, girl. It's like, and then he blocked me. And instead I went on the Facebook dating app because at the time I was like, gonna say something back and be like petty. But then he like blocked me on the dating app too. So that, that person really just can't like, can't handle, you know, any kind of direct conversation or any kind of conversation that's not like super like, uh, like, you know, you know, whatever. Like, I'm direct. I'm blunt. I'm going to tell you how it is. And that wasn't an insult to him. It was just like, so here it is. Like, I know, I know that you saw my text. You don't have to lie to me about that. You know, and, and that's it. But realistically, I wasn't going to keep talking to him anyway. <laughs> so I kind of was just saying my last little bit of peace there because I was feeling petty. And that was it. Sorry guys, I need to concentrate on my eyeliner. Yeah, what a dummy. So then I've lost, lost interest. So um, I was friend zoned by somebody like last week or whatever. And then um, this happened. And so I'm just like, okay, I'm over it. I'm over the dating thing already. I'm done. I'm done. Because when my standards were a lot lower, uh, I was pulling trade left and right. Like, 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 I, it's easy for me to find a man, but it's about the quality ones, right? The thing is, I have like cat fur from one of my makeup brushes. It was on a makeup brush, which is already gross. I'm sorry, but it's just life here. Um, and it's like in my nose. It always happens. I'm not picking my nose. I'm just like trying to get the cat fur away from my face. Um, yeah, I'm like 67K. Like, first of all, probably not and second of all like who cares um okay so let's put on one of these new lippies let's try both of them actually why not okay so we're gonna do the lick the lips and then we'll go back to lashes yeah and the thing is I don't want like a husband or anything I just want like someone who's like an adult and like we can date and have fun and respect each other but like I don't know it's like you can't just date and have fun anymore it's like either it's like you're messing around with a bunch of people and like so uh like dirty and like gross and not like good guy or oh hey 25 people um if you're here make sure you like the live stream love you so um or or you like are like trying to get married you know, I just got the notification for that, for that video, for the, for the trailer. Ugh, gross. I'm oh, sorry, I'm doing my lips here. Not to bring the chat down, but I was with my second son's dad from 15 to 26 and he passed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh my God. I'm so sorry about that. That's, that's really tragic. Yeah, I haven't had a serious boyfriend um, since my like abusive ex. And that was like four years ago at this point. I've had guys I've talked to and like little boyfriends or whatever, but not like a serious boyfriend, you know? I'm 
the cats are meowing at each other. It's weird because cats don't communicate to each other through meows. Like that's not how they communicate to each other, but like my cats do meow at each other. It's really weird. So I used to like date a lot. I used to, girl, I, hey Breezy, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Um, I used to date, uh, like go on like lots of dates, girl. I used to, there were times I was going on like five dates a week. Okay. Um, with different people every night, <laughs> but I'm just on, I'm, I guess my priorities are different right now. My priorities are like growth on my channel and like all that stuff, you know? Mr. Kitty, you literally were just in the kitty box earlier. Bernice, what, what's no? Oh, I'm sorry, Nicole, to hear that. Okay, so we're going to, okay, I love the Pricked Palette. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. We're, we're going to put the lipsticks on now. And then we're going to put some lashes on to finish the look. This is a really long, like, from the first stream into this stream is a really long, really long stream. I don't even know what we were at before uh, we crashed last time. Okay, so that is lip liner and a little lip balm. I always use lip balm underneath a liquid lip. doesn't matter the brand. I just always use it. Wow, you guys, wow. Yeah, we're at 26 viewers. Mm -hmm -hmm. Wow, oh my God. This is gorgeous. gorgeous right this is don't panic yes it is don't panic all right so we're gonna like let this dry for a second and then I'm gonna put the tangerine queen in the center and then pop on a little bit of one of the glosses on top so not the not the unicorn blood it'll ruin everything it's not that kind of thing but you know the other the lighter colored one I got all right so let's put, put on some lashes while we're doing that or we're waiting for that to dry yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, basically, I'm, like, over the whole dating thing again already. <laughs> it's just, like, oh. because, like, why would you, why would you, like, ugh. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't, you know? It's, like, I don't have time for games or bullshit, you know? But I do want to, like, date someone, you know? I want to meet somebody in the real world, organically, you know, just naturally. And fall in love like the movies. Rich told me I need to get buy a red dress I have a red dress Rich told me I need to put on a red dress do my makeup and my hair throw on some heels and go sit at the bar alone <laughs> that's what he told me uh yeah I'm uh, I'm 31 oh my god <gasps> do you guys see that oh no we have to wait for it to draw so we can scrape it off. Oh my God, she's so clumsy, girl. Hello? Jeez. Thank you, Asma, I appreciate it. Well, I think he means like a restaurant, like a nice restaurant's bar. So a single man might just be coming up there to eat by himself or something. I, 
okay so there was there was this bar like an actual bar pool hall, pool hall slash bar i used to go to literally all the time and at like when i was there alone i would get so many drinks bought for me but i wasn't trying to date any of those guys they were like you know like gross pool hall guys they didn't have good jobs they didn't they you know what i mean But if I'm sitting at the bar at Mastro's, you know, it's a different story. If I'm sitting at the bar at Mastro's in a red dress, heels, full makeup, by myself, people are going to think I'm a prostitute. <laughs> um, oh, I will call my ex. Trust me, I will not call any, any exes. I might text a couple of the like people I have on the back burner. And it never ever ends in anything either because then they'll, they'll text me back and I just won't respond after they text me back or like like I'll just like end up going home and then like never answer them or whatever or they won't answer me <laughs> rejected or something hi Kate how are you um yeah I don't know I mean Because not everybody who goes to a bar is an alcoholic, you guys. So we can't, like, just... If we're not alcoholics and we go to the bar, doesn't mean that all the guys will be, you know? Now, are your, like, are your chances of finding an alcoholic higher in a bar? Well, I'm sure there's a statistic somewhere to say that. But... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I made a mistake. Okay, maybe not. You see how bright that went on? I was like, oh no, I've made a big mistake. <laughs> you come here for all the tea, all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> that would be fun. Yes, thank you so much. A little gloss in the center there. This is how you make your lips look super big. What time is it? Maybe I will go to Moxie's. Moxie's is my where I was gonna go if I went anywhere tonight. Oh, and it matches my nails perfectly, yeah. Ten oh no, they close it. <laughs> Means it's ten twenty five Central Center time. And um, oh, thank you, Asma. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. They close at eleven, so I guess I won't be going there. Beep beep, girl. Oh, I know it. I want to, but the thing is, I don't want to go to like a regular bar. I want to go to like a restaurant bar, and those all close it, and it's Monday night, you know. There's a couple, or they'll, they'll close at like 10, uh, like midnight or 11 or something like that. Oh, thank you, Asma. <laughs> He's like, how's it going? Okay, let's put on these lashes. Where's my lash glue? Hello. Okay. And then we'll have the final look. My hair is also super busted underneath this ponytail. This bun, I mean. I mean, here's the thing. Monday, I don't mind going out on Monday, girl, because I'm that's this is my weekend. Okay, if I'm gonna go out, I'll go out on Monday. My my weekend from like the restaurant work, you know. Um, I'll go out on the weekend or on the weekdays, but it's Monday, and places close 
since COVID, places close like earlier than usual on Monday. Um, since COVID, it used to be where places would be open until like midnight or whatever. But place, on Monday, people. Um, so bars are open, but I don't really want to go to just a bar. I want to, because if I go somewhere, I want to be able to get a glass of wine. And oops. And I don't mean like, oh my God, hello. And I don't mean like Behringer or like, you know, Yellowtail. I want like a good glass of wine. So I'm just annoying and bougie. I know. Maybe there's like a good little wine bar that'll be open. But then I have to drive farther. And I live like, the thing is I live in like such a populated little area that I don't want to drive like farther for no reason. There's so many things over here. I'm really high. You guys, you don't even know. I'm so annoying and high maintenance when, I co when it comes to like going out in the places that I'll go. I'm so annoying. I'm like, I don't want to go there. They don't have a good wine list. Or I don't want to drive that far. What's the parking lot like? If they don't have a parking lot, like I'm not going. I'm not going to park on the street. I'm not going to parallel parking. I don't want to pay for an Uber. <laughs> That's literally me. Like, well, then you drive then. <laughs> I know it. I know it, you guys. I know it. Y'all are, are just, you know, holding me accountable, aren't you? I mean, there's some places I could go that have, like, liquor, but I'm trying not to drink liquor, you guys. And I know I find some hot guys there, but they're not, like, quality guys. Yeah, when I was in my 20s, I would just go anywhere. I didn't care. But now I'm like, no, like, everything has to be a certain way. Wow! Wow. I know, I did dive deep into the ocean. I don't even know if I care to dive deep into the ocean. I just want them to wash up on shore. <laughs> I almost bought a bottle of champagne at work last night to take home. And then I was like, no, because if I get drunk, then I won't want to get up and go work out in the morning. And so I didn't do it. A glass is fine. But, like, a whole bottle. If I would have got the bottle, I would have drank in most of it. Or the whole thing. And then I would have been drunk. And then I would have, wouldn't want to wake up in the morning and go work out. Also, when we end the live stream, I have to film two videos. So, if we think, I have to film two videos. And then go out. It's going to be late. Oh, I have lipstick on my teeth. Hello? Okay. Yeah, I'm such a champagne person. I love champagne. Okay. So this is the final look, you guys. Let me, um, oh, I didn't put any highlighter on. Hello? We need highlighter. Okay. I guess we're going to put on this Anastasia one because it has a gold kind of thing to it. And yeah, we'll do that. And then that'll be the look. Yeah, I want to go, but the place I wanted to go is going to be closed, so I'm not going to go. <laughs> you already know. Beep, beep. And then I wanted to be in bed by like one, so I could wake up in the morning and work out. Yeah. It's not going to be the night for me. Cause tomorrow I gotta wake up, work out, edit the videos, get them ready to be posted, post one then, and get the other one ready to be posted the next day. And then 
you know, by that time, who knows what I'll be doing. Probably need a phone call from Rich or something to go do something. So I gotta do that. Honestly, this Anastasia highlighter is not, for a loose highlighter, it's really just like not that girl. I get, okay, if I wet it maybe, but I shouldn't have to wet it, it's loose. Hey, Nicole, you're just really going through it right now, huh? Sending positive vibes your way. Okay, once I wetted it, it was more that girl, but before I wetted it, it was like great. Really, really not great. Okay, so let's see. So I don't know, unless I could film these two videos, I'm not going out, you guys. I'm not going out because I got to get dressed and then I got to like, you know, I, mm -mm. no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. You can't make me. You can't make me. Although this look is going to get wasted because I look great. I look great. I look great. So until next time, um, honestly, um, the, um, it's kind of like heavy foundation though. I don't know. Yes. What's up baby girl? Oh, wow. Little, you know, little settings where you always just like, um, makes you like come back to life, you know? Um, but this is honestly like a heavy foundation too. And mm, I don't know. I mean, I look good, but like, I don't know. I don't, I wear, I don't know. I don't want to wear this heavy foundation like out and about, you know? So, uh, okay. Mm, I don't think there's any guys in the chat. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think there's guys here. <laughs> the, oh, Breezy was here, but I don't think there's any other guys here. Yeah, I don't think there's any other guys here. Um, yeah, I like my hair in a bun like this, but my hair looks like good when it's like, but also like, I don't know. Yeah, I like my hair down. I mean, my hair is like, this is literally like lazy. Like this is like lazy. Like when I got home from the gym, I like showered my body and stuff. But I didn't shower my, um, my hair. <laughs> so I have to wash my hair tonight. Um, I don't think they were here to begin with. I think, I know Breezy was here, but I don't think there were any other guys here. Ha, <laughs> Danielle, until it's time for fun stuff. <laughs> oh, here's something that we can talk about really quick before we go. So what do you guys think? Okay, so if you go to the gym or if you work out, do you wear makeup to the gym? Because I saw a girl with lashes and full contour makeup today at the gym. And I was like, what is she, girl, what? She's like, girl, what is she doing? And she was there with a, like a gym date. You could tell it was a gym date. She was there with a guy. But I'm like, so if you have, um, uh, if you, uh, if you're going on a gym date with a guy, um, would you wear makeup? I would say I'd probably throw on some mascara, waterproof mascara, so it wouldn't smudge. I'd probably throw on some waterproof mascara, maybe a tinted moisturizer, and a lip gloss. That's it. Yeah, I mean, like, she was wearing, like, full beat, I mean, she damn near had everything I had on, have on right now, but it was like a neutral look, you know? I mean, yeah, we don't wear makeup at the gym. Like, you don't wear makeup at the gym. And then I, like, um, the guy that friends of me was telling me that, like, he doesn't understand why girls wear makeup at the gym. Because a lot of girls do it, apparently. That's what he said. Or they'll wear, like, a bunch of perfume at the gym. I'm like, you don't, like, 
I don't leave the house without a little bit of perfume, but I'm not gonna douse myself in perfume or like, and apparently guys do it too, they'll douse themselves in cologne. I don't like, I I just put like a little, like, and then like deodorant and that's it when I go to the gym, bare face, like nothing. Like, cause that, first of all, like, you're not gonna like, um, like, you're gonna clog your pores, you know? Like, you're sweating and like, oh, first of all, the makeup would get all busted. Then you're supposed to be like, like, you know, getting stuff out, like, by sweating it. Not like keeping it in because you have all this makeup blocking, blocking it or whatever. Yeah, it's for attention, for sure. For sure, yeah, okay. Well, I just wanted to see what you guys thought about that because I thought it was very interesting and I, not a fan of it. And I looked at her and I was like, and I texted my friend, I was like, why, why is she wearing, and then I know she was with a guy, but I'm like, even still, like, that still shows, like, I'm sure that guy notices that you're wearing all that fucking makeup. Oops, I said, I said the F word. And that you, like, like, you don't need to wear makeup to the gym. Yeah, I'm going there to get in shape. And also, like, I don't want anybody looking at me while I'm at the gym. <laughs> at least right now, I don't want anyone to look at me. Don't look at me. I'm trying to look my absolute worst when I'm there, so nobody, no, nobody even notices that I'm there. Don't eat. Don't mind me, and don't look at me because I'm my big ass on that elliptical. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. So I'm definitely not putting on anything that's gonna make me look any better. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Well, yeah, after you're done, you know, that's one thing. But don't, like, yeah, I'm like, don't look at me. Today when I was at the gym, I was on the, I did the little, the, the bike thing. And um, there was, like, a really cute guy, like, two bikes down. And he kept, like, looking over. And I was just like, oh, God, girl. It's like, oh, my God, why is he looking? Please don't look at me. Please don't even notice that I'm here right now. I'm so embarrassed. Because I got it. Because then I look like I look a lot bigger than I am because I have this like sweatband on underneath my leggings, but you can't see it because my leggings are so high waisted. So I like it just looks like I'm even bigger than I am. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. I so here's the thing. Don't look at me. But one thing that really helps me get through my cardio is my gym. It's like overlooking the the free weights on the, um, the ellipticals and stuff are overlooking the free weights. And so what I'll do is I'll, um, go, uh, I'll go up there and I'll get myself a nice spot where I can see the guys doing the free weights and like, they can't see me cause I'm upstairs and I'm not paying attention, but I can see them. And so I'll just see them going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll just be like, Oh my God. Yes. Daddy lift that weight. Bad boy. Drayden, ha, we have a man in the chat. Um, <laughs> um, that's funny. Yeah, so I'm just like, I go and I just, I'll watch the guys. I'll watch the guys do their thing while I'm doing my elliptical, but please don't look at me, you know? And I'm telling you, it helps you get through your cardio. Today, um, I needed to catch up on some drama videos. So I put on drama videos while I was doing my cardio. And I was like, okay, I can't stop until I watch all three of these videos. <laughs> and that was 30 minutes cardio right there. <laughs> 35. <laughs> I wonder who's still there. Just like, where'd she go? <laughs> Hey Janet, well we're actually about done. Uh, we've okay, so we were on the other the first live stream that before it crashed for like literally over an hour, and then um, we came over here to finish it because it crashed, and then um, and then like finished the negative look, and then we've been on here for about forty five minutes. Uh, hi Ruthie, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, you guys, when this fourth video, fourth video in this stupid series that this guy is doing, when that comes out, I'm sure I'm gonna have some thoughts because <sighs> so annoying. The thing is, he probably won't post it until the middle of the night. I'm just curious about like how he's tagging everything. And like the SEO and stuff. Ha! 
Oh, he has no tags on the video. He has no tags. This was in episode three, no tags. So how, you know, I'm not gonna give him any advice on how to get the videos out there because he's stupid. Okay, let's see. No tag, he doesn't know what he's doing, girl. Oh, I see some of y'all's comments. Oh, I see some of y'all's comments. Oh my God, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like some of your comments. Oh, I see the, oh, whoop. Oh my God, you guys are savage. Wow. Okay, let's see about the first video. Yes, I love y'all so much. <laughs> oh my god. 16 dislikes, 5 likes. Ha! <laughs> okay, I'm liking I'm liking you guys' comments that I'm seeing in the videos. You guys are savage. You two ladies know Danielle and Nicole. Y'all know who you are, okay? Y'all know. Uh, Y'all know who you are. I'm not encouraging anybody to do anything. I'm just saying. She was a good woman, but she was a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what am I going to do now? I have to film two videos. One on uh, this girl and then one on this other girl. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. YouTube sees those interaction, and I know that. With this situation, though, this person has absolutely no clout. So for me, it's just like satisfying to see that people are not liking it. You know, like I know that every dislike helped boost those videos and the algorithm for whatever it was worth, but uh, still, <laughs> I still did it because I was like, this person's not going to get pushed in either way, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> yeah, at first I was like, I'm not going to say anything or give it any attention. I don't even want to give it a view. And then I was like, no. No one, no one's gonna watch anyway. <laughs> so, and the thing is, like, I get it. Like, I mean, I have videos that are sitting at some of the, the numbers that these videos are sitting out. I get it, whatever. And I'm not like, that's not what I'm like judging it for, you know, whatever. But it's just like, um, but it's just, it's what it is. Yeah. So, anyway, when the fourth video comes out, I guess I'll see you guys in the comment section of that video. Oh my God. <laughs> you pause the video immediately to your viewers account. Oh yeah, that's the thing. They sound, it's just very weird. And the thing is when he was telling me to do it, he was like, so you say something, but you don't say like too much, but you still like say stuff, but you don't say too much. And then like, so he like was, he gave me everything. He told me everything he was going to do, basically, but was trying to convince me to do it. Uh, yeah, you have to play it a certain number of seconds, for sure. Um, okay, well, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream. I love you so much. Um, thank you so much for being here. Daniela, Queen Kimberly, Donna, Nicole, Prescribed Candy, Picket Fence, Burnus, um, Daniela, Asma, who else was here? Janet and Donna and uh, who else is it? Ruthie and Drayden and everybody else who is in the stream tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much. Um, you guys have a you guys have a great night, um, and I will see you in the next video very soon. Thank you all for being here, and thank you to everybody who gave a super chat or a super sticker. I love you guys so much. 
Um, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>